Welcome back guys, Slapping here, and welcome to Mist Survival. So you guys know that I love a good zombie survival game, and this could possibly be a clickbaity title, the best zombie survival game of 2018. It could be, it could well be. I'm only about three or four hours into it, and so far, it's good. It's good. So far. Uh, a few points of note. This is early access, of course. It's only been in early access for about a month. So expect bugs, but honestly, I haven't really come across any yet. Um, and it also, this game is being developed by one guy. It's like, it doesn't even make any sense, boys. That doesn't even make any sense. All right, so like I said, I've, I've played three or four hours, uh, but I'm going to start a new game just for you fellas, so you can actually see what the game is like from the beginning and stuff like that. Um, I want to hit on the bad points straight away. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, bad points are the map's a static map, which, you know, that could be a bad point, could not be a bad point, whatever. Um... Spawns, loot spawns and things like that don't appear to be random. They appear to be yes or no. Either that bit of loot is there or it's not. Um, your respawn points uh, for a new game appear to not be that random either. They seem to be confined within, I don't know, a 1k area or something. Um, usually, and I'm probably going to screw it up when we jump into this game, but usually at the start of a game you can figure out pretty quickly exactly where you are on the map. Um, and like I said, I've only played for three or four hours, so I've only explored a little area of the map. Um, okay, premise of the game, right? Uh, mysterious, miscovered parts of the world, turn people into zombies... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> people survived, right? Some people survived. Uh, in the game, there is basically three threats that I've come across so far, and I think that's all there is. So during the day, there's bears, and they hurt. Trust me, they hurt. Um, there are zombies, of course. Uh, the zombies cannot go outside during the day. They can go outside at night time, and they can go outside when there's a mist event. Uh, so we'll hopefully come across one of those today, as the name would suggest. Uh, it's a big thing of mist, which is fine um and also there is bandits which is quite interesting i haven't come across any of those yet um but hopefully we will soon uh, i think if we go obviously that's the only way we can really go uh yeah so bandits are quite interesting i i'm thinking that's really going to be what well bandits and zombies i guess that's really what's going to be what the game is based around now from what i've seen in pictures and stuff like that you can also find um other survivors and you can also bring them back to your base and you know set them up to do tasks and stuff like that which is pretty cool it is a solo pass single player uh game so that's interesting with that this type of thing all right i know where i am uh, there should be a bear over here somewhere. I don't want to find him. Uh, last time we went this way, he kicked my ass so early. It was, it was bad. It was bad. I'm kind of on the opposite side of the map from where I want to be, but that's okay. All right. I just quietly look. Uh, there is, of course, a building system. Um, this, what we're just looking at right now, uh, oh, another upgraded back noise, could also be part of, well, this is a part that could be improved, I think. It's not that it's bad, but I, yeah, I do think it can be improved. So as you can see, if I just click here, I can set this as my base, right? And that basically becomes your base. From what I can see with the bigger buildings that you can occupy, um, that's where you like you dedicate those to like your followers and stuff like that. You're like, hey, this follower can live in that room, blah, 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 that type of thing, yeah? Uh, there is cars, of course, as you can clearly see, um, which are drivable. You've got to find all the bits for them. Basically, you've got to find uh, fuel, of course. Uh, engines, spark plugs, battery, and a couple of tires, and then put all those things in a car, and then the car should be drivable. I have not done that yet, either. May I say, um, early days for me, only three or four hours in, and I've restarted uh, five or six times, I guess. Um, really just to see, you know, did the spawn points change and all that type of stuff, I really wanted to see that type of thing. Um, the death system, I think, is quite nice. Uh, basically, you come back to life, right? So it's not, it's no permanent death. You basically come back to life, but you're wounded. Uh, so, like, if you fight a bear, you'll come back with, I don't know, broken leg and scratched arm and stuff like that. And they take time to heal. And you can heal yourself a bit faster with uh, bandages and stuff like that. But it's not an instant heal. You kind of hurt for, like, a day or so, right? Um, so, yeah, you got to try and sort that out. Um, zombies don't seem to hurt you as much, but you still come back really, really hurt. You can, of course... Um, just quit the game. <laughs> That's the other option, which is what I've done a couple of times, which is why I've restarted it a few times. Because that, yeah, I basically did that. It's like, uh, I'll just restart. Um, graphically, I kind of like it, right? It's built on the Unreal Engine, as you guys can probably tell if you've played a lot of Unreal games. Um, so the controls and all that are very familiar, uh, which I guess is helping the dude that's actually making it. Although Harry makes it, I don't know. 
one dude, man. And from what I can see, oh, there's a chicken over there. I'm gonna catch a little chicken. And uh, from what I can see, uh, the updates and stuff are coming out pretty regularly. Like I said, it's only been in early access for a month. So it came out on the 15th of October, which is literally a month ago from the day I'm recording this. Right, come back here, chicken. Uh, no, I, I'm going to say I have found a bug. I just remembered. Uh, I was chasing a chicken one day, right? And then I almost got him, and then he just disappeared. Come back here, chicken. Oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Now, yeah, I'm going to put him down and kill him. <laughs> Because from if, if this is, I only done this once. If this is right, he's going to be kind of friendly. Yeah, right. Oh. Eh, sorry. <laughs> but of course, with chickens, you get feathers and meat and stuff like that. Um, you can also, uh, where are I? So this is a building menu. One of them. You can also make cages and stuff. Uh, yeah, here we go. Chickens. You can build a chicken coop and put some fences up around to keep the chickens in there. And obviously chickens breed, I guess. I don't know. I haven't got that far into it yet. Um, what other things can we look at? Water purifiers, all the uh, normal stuff. Uh, generators and things like that. Workbenches, obviously. Uh, blacksmiths, moonshine, because you need some booze. Basically, the booze is for like um, first aid and stuff like that. Repair bench, furnaces, reloading. I guess that's for ammo. Shelters. You can actually make some shelters yourself. Uh, lighting. Beds, etc. Uh, yep, cool. There's also this other menu over this side, which is just the basic stuff, so wood, firewood, etc. Uh, dry meats and basic ammo, uh, sleeping bags and bandages, and different types of powders and stuff like that you can make, which is quite interesting. I think it's quite detailed for where it is, um, and the fact that like it's only actually been out for yeah a month or so. I don't know how long the guy's been working on it for. I can't see that information anywhere, but yeah, uh, I want to not go that place. Oh, do I want to go to that place? Okay, so there's zombies over in that building, right? Um, but the building itself is kind of useless. I mean, there's stuff in it, but you can't occupy the building, so I don't really want to go there. Right. Uh, how are we doing for time as well? So, like, did I say that the zombies come out at night time? Yes, I did say that, right. So it's 9.40 in the morning, so we're all good. Hunger, thirst, and everything's fine, of course. Uh, we want to go up this way. Uh, I really want to go that way, because there's a gun that way. So I mean, I kind of spawned on the opposite side of where I wanted to spawn. So basically, there's that spawn location. There seems to be one like straight up that way, and then there's another one over that side. That seems to be the spawn locations that I've come across so far anyway. Um, I assume he's going to put more in. Um, like I said, I haven't really had a chance to explore the map because you're kind of confined in this wee area. Um, and I haven't actually managed to grab a car or anything up and running yet. That's all the type of things we can look at. Basically, I've just you know, dealt with hunger. The initial stages of hunger and you know getting that type of thing up ah uh, that's where we want to go over there so this is basically what i mean by you know the loot's either there or it's not which is you know, I, I assume it's an easy well maybe not an easy fix but i assume it's something that can be fixed uh basically you know randomize the loot spawns and stuff like that because in theory all right i need to just let my stamina build up a wee bit ah uh, let's have a look at this car while we're here Nothing. Um, of course, I haven't explored every area. Like I said, I only played for three or four hours total. And most of that's just early, early game. Just getting used to the systems and stuff like that. But in that second building there, there should be a gun. Literally, there's been a gun on there every time I've come down this way. Uh, the bullets seem to change, though. Like, the amount of bullets you get. Sometimes you get four bullets. Sometimes you get eight bullets. But we'll see. We'll see what we get today. I mean, it's nice to know that, you know, that's where a gun is, right? But, yeah, let's see. Uh, we got some bullets. Nice. That obviously helps us survive. Got two bullets. That's a shocking start, really. I'll grab that. There is more bullets here. Uh, next building over. She'll go and grab. Um, and then we want to head that way. It seems to be the best place to go, at least for the early game. Um, we'll try and set up a different base, and I'll show you what the base and all that type of stuff is like as well. I might not get an actual building or an actual base up running in this episode, because it does take a little bit of time. And the first place we want to go to um, has a workbench, so we can get a lot of early game stuff up and running really early. Um, sorry, I thought I hit a zombie. Yeah, so we can get a lot of early game stuff up and running really early, which obviously is going to be nice, uh, help us survive and all that type of stuff. We're about maxed out on everything we want. Kind of just need some more stone so we can build a campfire once we actually get over there. 
kind of got a heap of metal and stuff like that. Sewing kit. Oh, we need those as well to make a bed if we can. Ah, so I'm going to reload this gun. Okay. Four bullets. Oh, I said four or eight, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, there's usually nothing in here, but oh, I'll have a quick look. Nice. Yes, yeah, so I haven't come across any of the bandits or anything yet, so I think that's going to be quite interesting. <laughs> Excuse me, see how that whole system plays out, like, you know, how aggressive are they and stuff like that. Um, you know, do they come and try and raid you and things like that? You know, I haven't seen anything like that, but like I say, three or four hours in, so early, early days yet, boys. But so far, it's, it's pretty impressive, right? It's pretty impressive. Uh, there's a wee camp. I'm kind of full, though, on the old infantry. Um, so this is one of the other spawn locations, like just over that side. Uh, I can't really pick anything else up, that's fine. Let's just get to where we're going and then we can come back. Come back and loot all this stuff. Uh, Gotta be a little bit careful, there is a bear that roams around just over on that side there as well. We would want to kill a bear, um, obviously because they provide a lot of uh, meat and stuff like that, but we're not really in a position. I mean, we can kill it, but we just couldn't be able, we wouldn't be able to carry it and stuff like that. In that motel, um, there's a lot of zombies and stuff like that in there as well, so we will come back to that so I can show you what the zombies are like. Um, there is a stealth aspect to the game as well. It's stealth. Um, and if you can sneak up on a zombie, you can't execute them. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, they seem to be pretty hard to fight, you know, just in a straight-up fight. But, I mean, I have, don't have any equipment, you know, very limited on what type of weaponry we've got and stuff like that. Obviously, we've got a gun now, so that kind of helps. I'm talking about, like, melee stuff. Right, let's have a look at this building so my stamina can regen and things like that. Now, as you're seeing, you know, we've played about an hour of in-game time already. Um, it doesn't go that fast, but you can do things, like you can make things, like if you made wood planks and stuff like that, you know, it takes like 45 minutes. It doesn't actually take 45 minutes, but, the you know, it takes like a minute, well, not even that, like 10 seconds or whatever, but it takes up 45 minutes of game time. Um, so things like that make the day go really, really fast. Uh, there's zombies up in those buildings up to the top there, so we'll come back to those. The building that we actually want is just down here, but the bad part about this is it's not a spawn point. So you can set, obviously, your base up. Um, we can actually just make a shelter next to it. That'll work, that'll work. Yeah, can you just set your base up, right? And that's, if you do die, that's where you respawn, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have any room, so there's no point looting all this stuff. I've got to go up here and find some storage. Actually, there's that building right there. We can set that as our spawn point. That's fine. Ah, uh, we could actually live there. No, mm. uh, not really. I will set it as my spawn point, though. Um, but that's not really where we want to live. Not, not for today. So we just enter there. We just activate. So now that's our spawn point, basically. Uh, we'll just double check the stuff. I've got an axe. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Right, that's cool. So where we really want to go is just over here, just a little bit further. Just basically that building over there. Get some stamina, son. But I say this building doesn't have a spawn point, so yeah, actually having that right there is quite nice. So we can just spawn then run over back over here. Nice. Now the main reason we want this is because of this thing, workbench, right? So we can actually make some stuff, but I need to drop things off first. Right, let's get... Uh, I'll keep that chicken. Chuck, chuck, chicken. Right, we need that because we want to build a fireplace. Uh, metal, metal, some sugar. Need that as well. That saw. We've got two saws. Uh, we'll pick out other saws because we will, like, melt those down. So that's fine. Uh, I just seeing what we actually need for a fireplace. Need some sticks. Really? Yeah, okay. We'll go grab some sticks. Uh, there should be a car just out here too that we can drive. That one there. Sweet, okay. Uh, close the doors because zombies can't open doors. All right. Not that there's any zombies around during the day. You better check these other things while we're here. That was an engine that I just picked up while we Right, so I want to chuck that in the car itself. Oh, and there's a battery there too. Nice. Ah, so this is basically as far as I've gone. <laughs> All is a tire too. Right, an axe will pick that extra axe up. We don't need to carry it, of course. Uh, as in physically, as far as I've gone. Right, that there. So those are going in the car. That's fine. I don't need to carry on that many stones, really. 
Let me just pick up some twigs along our way, please. Uh, we'll have a look at this workbench while we're over here, though. So this obviously gives you access to different things than what you have uh, as far as basics go. Crowbar you want because you can pry open things. Obviously, you want to be able to... Actually, I'll do that now. Make that water bottle if we can. Water, obviously, pretty important to survival, right? All right, grab that. Yeah, crowbar obviously allows you to pry open uh, buildings and stuff that would otherwise be blocked. You see that took 13 minutes to make. I mean, it didn't actually take us 13 minutes, but it took 13 minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, we could actually make a crowbar too while we're here. Nice. That one. Crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. So if we come across any doors that are like locked, we can just crowbar them open. Or oh, I'd like to make a gas can too, actually. Steal as much gas and stuff as we can while we're here, because we're going to be hopefully drivable soonish. I haven't actually done it yet, so we'll see. Oh, can I not put that down there? Really? Rude. I have to carry it. Do I have to carry the saw? I have to carry the saw because I need to saw things, right? Uh, right, two bits of more metal. Actually, do I need to carry the saw? Probably not. Probably not, but I definitely want to make a gas can, because we are going to be coming across a lot of different cars. Of course, you can find all this stuff, but you, know, you might as well have it if you can. Uh, the next thing we really want to make is a bow. So you need to uh, do a lot of um, farming for that, basically. Right, so we've got a gas can, we've got an engine, we've got a tyre. Put away that stuff. I'll put that in there. I don't need the sticks. I'll put that in there. So those, a few of those things we're going to drop off anyway. Drop off into that car. Now, there was a... Nope, okay. There was a water thing, you might have been in that building there. We'll go back and have a look. So I'm just going to chuckle the stuff in this car here while we're in here. Uh, not that. Uh, so there we need that. So that takes five minutes. I think the engine takes like 45 minutes to install. 20 minutes, so. Nice. Tyres. Or one tyre. There's more tyres up at that motel that we're going to go back to. Nice, boys. Right, so, uh, is there anything actually in this? No. But of course you can use that as storage as well, I guess. Oh yeah, I need to find some food. You see our thirst is getting a little bit low. We're getting a bit thirsty, fellas. I'll pick up some branches. don't really need to pick up branches. You get a lot of them when you're chopping down trees and stuff anyway. I'm hoping this water thing actually has water in it. Might not. I might not. There's, there it is. It has nothing. Let's try. Nope. Fuck. Okay. Alright. It's alright. We'll find some. We'll find some. We haven't even found any food or anything yet, have we? No. No, it's all good. Ah, uh, no gas in that one, road. No. Oh, there it is. Fill the can. Should probably worry more about our... Um, oh, should probably worry more about our thirst at this stage, I think. Oh, no, but I can't just leave all this fuel here, can I? No, boys, got to take it. I hear a chicken. Actually, what's that building over there? I haven't been in that building before. Oh, look at that. I always need a Coca-Cola. Nice. Don't worry about thirst for a little bit. I haven't actually been in that building. I might go check that out. Just... I don't know what that building over there is either. I just want to check the... Oh, here's the mist. Okay, so zombies can come out now. Um, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. <sighs> right. Yes, I am literally going to hide in here. Because <laughs> I'll get killed otherwise. So that's basically the mist event. All right. So mist spawns. Zombies come. Gotta hide. Because <laughs> zombies will wreck you. I don't know if this is actually like a, a player housing or not. I'm not sure. I don't really know how long this is gonna last for. I'm gonna go just I'm gonna go for a nap for an hour. Don't kill me. Force oh I heard something. Oh, there's a zombie. Stealth it, please. Oh, there's another one over there. Come on, sunshine! Oh, there's another one over there too. I don't know if you can see him like real far over in there. Like, uh, like there. Ah, 
Um, I'm fairly certain zombies can't open doors. If, if they do, they're going to get shot. Actually, I'd really like to stab them. Come on, go away, mist, please. You don't want to die. I want to make it through this whole episode without dying, please. <laughs> oh, this game. Like, I'm sure I'll get used to it, but it does creep me out sometimes. Especially, like, if you're out in the middle of a field, right? Like I was this one time. I was picking up chickens, because why not? Um... And the mist just spawned, and I was like in the middle of the field. I'm like, oh my god! And then I looked, turn around. There's like two zombies running at me. I'm like, oh great, so I died. <laughs> but yeah, right. I'll just restart. Yeah, go away. How are we doing for time? It's three o'clock. Uh, half past seven is darkness. So we've got a little bit of time. If this mist will go away. So this mist is what turned everybody into zombies, basically. You're immune to it, of course, because you have reasons. Now, the thing is, if the doors that are open down below were open, zombies could go in there and be safe. I think that's the one that was really close to us. I think. Game has been safe. Norsh. Right, go away. Event thing. Yeah, I have gone to sleep once in the mist and got killed by a zombie. I wasn't in a building that was just like out in the middle of nowhere because it's like, how long does this last for? I was like, meh, I just go to sleep. Uh, which is kind of what I want to do again. I probably can't. Um, okay, they're knocking on the walls. I guess you snore and you like att attract the zombies with your snoring. It's definitely more than one. I wonder if they can go through doors, they just have to break them down first. Don't do that, because that freaks me out. There's a shadow coming across that door. I don't know if you can tell in the recording or not, but yeah. Creepy. Come on, I'm being super silent. Graphical bug there too. Yeah, I'm guessing sleeping, like, yeah, you must snore or something, because it obviously attracts them. Definitely here. Right, we might, I might just, um, skip until the mist is gone. All right, <laughs> we'll be back shortly. All right, so the mist is gone. So basically what happens when the mist goes away is the zombies fall down dead. <laughs> the ones that were outside did. Right, so it seems to last for about two hours, I guess. In the game time, of course. Right, now, like I said, if they did manage to get um, into the building, they'll be safe, but I don't know if they did. Alright, so this is actually... Oh, see, that's what they were breaking down. Okay. Oh, and they broke that one too. I don't need another source. That's another spawn point. So this building here is essentially not safe because it's been attacked and stuff. Oh, there's nothing in here anyway. All right, let's check out that building over there. Ah, uh, check out the car actually. We don't have a lot of time left just because of obviously that mist. I don't know if these cars actually have anything in them, the driver ones. No, I think it's the undriver ones that you can actually get stuff from. Uh, I still want to go have a look at that motel though. I assume this is another um, building we can actually sit in. Logs and everything. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Okay. Right, let's, while we're here, we'll try and kill the zombie so you can at least see what that's like. Um, hopefully you don't get killed. Being stealthy. Um, can peek, of course. Oh, Christ, there's two in there. Turn around, big fella. So close. Alright, if we can ninja this. 
Got one. The other one's not going to, though. Alright, gun. Where'd he go? He didn't even chase. Okay, that's cool. Oh, he didn't even see me. Okay. Apparently. That's a bit funky. Right. I am bleeding, though. Oh, of course I am. Was that worth it for a potato? I don't think that was worth for a potato. That's a good Irish accent. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I am bleeding. Um, I was hoping. Oh, that's a bandage. Nice. So that one's going to take four hours to heal. It's on our arm, so we won't be able to chop and stuff as good as what we would have otherwise. I've got a crowbar, so we can get in there. Let's try. Ah, sorry. Use the crowbar. Take ten minutes. That's fine. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's the first bit of clothing I've ever found. Oh, that's sexual, isn't it? That's very sexual. I like that. How are we doing for time? Five o'clock, okay. I think we're going to have to start heading back. Motel will have to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow in game, not in real life, of course. Still got a couple of hours left, but I don't want to be out here for too long. And I don't know exactly how long it takes me to get back. It's just over there, though. Yep. Yeah, I'm guessing these ones don't have stuff in them, whereas like these ones would. Uh, a couple of those I've already looked at anyway. Ah, uh, so that's actually a sp ah, we should shut that door. That's actually our spawn point right there. Ooh, what's that? A leaf. And stone. Ah, uh, we do actually need to pick up twigs, don't we? Because we need to build a fireplace. Ah, uh, actually we don't need to build a fireplace tonight necessarily. I don't have anything to cook on it, so it's fine. Ah, I do, I've got chicken. Oh, I've got chicken! I forgot I had chicken. Right, we want to build a fireplace then. Uh, oh, the fact that we're injured means we can't chop as well. Oh, it's only a small tree. Oh, this is another annoying thing. You've got to click every time you want to chop. Chop. I can't remember how many twigs I needed. Or tree bark, I need that too. Oh, I don't even matches, do I? No. I don't think. Pretty sure I don't. We'll see in a second. So you need tree bark because that's tinder, at least early game tinder. There might be different ones. Alright, let's get in here. So essentially we're going to be safe in here, right? Uh, oh, I need one more stone. Really? Nope, got heaps. Uh, stones. I only eight or only seven? No, eight, duh. Two. Two sly. Two more stones. Oh, oh, right. Stones. Ah, oh, we're going to put over here somewhere, I guess. Not particularly matter. Right, so we're not going to stay here for ages. Right, we'll build that. Ah, uh, matches, right? Did I have matches? That was the question. Because if I don't have matches, I can't light four. I don't have matches. Rude. Okay. So I'll just make some firewood then. Uh, give me eight. So I'll set the, just set this up, getting it ready. Uh, obviously we can't use it as of yet. Uh, so we'll chuck our firewood in there, we'll chuck our bark in there. Obviously I've got nothing to start it with. I don't have any accelerants or anything like that. Nice. Uh, is there anything else we can build while we're here? Twigs. Uh, I need lashings to make a bow, don't I? No, I need to kill a bear. Oh, potatoes. Bloody potatoes. Uh, keep that with me. This is very unorganised, isn't it? If you guys got OCD about this type of thing, you'll be having a heart attack right about now. I can't make a bed yet either. Actually, can I? I've only got there's four rags, right? I need eight rags to make a sleeping bag. No, I don't have enough. Uh, not that my fatigue's really an issue, but... Uh, so those bottles are for, um, should, can I put that gas can on the hopper? No. Um, the bottles are for gathering alcohol once we actually get up to that kind of stage. 
Oh, I can actually make matches. Oh, and I need charcoal to make matches, <laughs> which I get from fires. <laughs> oh, rude. Okay, well, at least you can recycle them, I suppose. Uh, water bottle we've already got. Combat knife we've already got. A bow, we'd like the lashings, but we don't have enough stuff for that type of thing yet. Lashings you get from bark and leaves. If we don't have anywhere near enough. Uh, we can upgrade too. What do we need for that? Two sockets, six metal parts, and ten wood. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else can we make while we're here? Oh, we can make that. The grill's very good. You can cook your chicken on the grill. And beef and stuff as well, I assume, if we ever kill a bear. Uh, oh, is that all I've got? I haven't been scavenging that well, have we? Really? Oh, more than enough, though. I'll have to put that over the fireplace. Get that building. Oh, I don't have a hammer? What? I don't. <laughs> How do I not have a hammer? Did I just put it away? Nope, I don't have a hammer. Can I make a hammer? <gasps> no. I cannot. Rude. Alright, so we have to find a bloomin' hammer then. Uh... It's usually all that type of thing in these places. So what are we doing for time? Six, three, we've got like an hour. Not really enough time to run out and do anything, is it? Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're only going to make it through to five o'clock, so we'll sleep most of that. But like I say, our fatigue's quite high. Uh, food, we're getting down a little bit as well. Can't eat potatoes. Oh, I can eat... No, I can't eat chicken because I've got to cook it. Food. I can eat berries. Really sustaining us though. Uh, all right, we've got a little bit of time, we've got like an hour. It's just there's nothing in those buildings there, but there might be something in these cars. Flashlight would be awesome. More spark plugs. Yes, got half an hour. Uh, I need. Oh, I'm not going to fill it up with gas either. We need to go back there and get that for gas. I mean, you can obviously stay out and risk it. Um, combat knife. Cool. No, it's no cool. Extra tar. Nice. Right, keep that up, please. I need to know the time. Nice. I didn't shoot the zombies before, did I? No. No, so we should have almost a full clip. Hell yeah, we do. Sweet, man. Right, what do I got? Oh, about 25 minutes. Okay. That was really enough time to do anything. Let's just pick up these while we're out here. I don't know if we really need those, but that's okay. Oh, I can chuck these tires on. I guess I've got time. How long? 10 minutes? Yep. Yeah. Right, sweet. Right, let's go put this stuff away and we'll go for a sleep. We'll come back in the morning. Dush, 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 dush. Right. Bang. I need to find a... Oh, I should have put the spark plug in too. It's fine. I'm going to do that. Uh, what are those? Painkillers. Oh, antibiotics, that one. Oh, I could eat the chicken and then take the antibiotics to kill the food poison that I get. <laughs> it's, it's not a good way of doing things. There's the painkillers there, right? Yeah. Right, rocks. Kicking rocks. I don't need to carry around rocks, I assume. Uh, a couple of extra bullets. Twiggies, I don't need to carry those. That, because I'm going to need to drink in a minute. Yep, we're good. Right, let's go for a snooze. Ideally eight hours, but we'll see. We'll see how long we can last. Got to make it through to 5 a.m. That's when the day officially begins. No, we're good. Uh, what's time? Oh, plus three. Come on. Yeah, we could. Right, so it's officially daytime. And we're thirsty as all thirsty. Right, we'll go to the motels now and see if we can find anything over there. Ah, uh, chuck that in the car too. Uh, one of these had gas, right? Is it this one? Um, you can be attacked while doing things as well, so you just have to be a little bit careful. I don't actually know how much that gas can hold. Total wise. 
whether there is a thing or not. A limit. Four litres so far, boys. Pretty good at scavenging fuel. It's nice all these cars are right here, I suppose. Oh, it's got nothing. Check this one and then we'll head towards the motel. Yep, okay. Uh, drop that spark plug off. Give ourselves a little, little extra room. Need food. Need a hammer, of all things. <laughs> oh, Christ, I left the fuel can in the car. I don't think I've ever not hit a hammer. Hang on. Is that a freaking zombie? No, okay. That one's right. What? Where? What? Don't leave it in the car over. Don't leave it in the one over here. Are you serious? I did too. How's that even possible? Right, let's go, boys. Ah, uh, dropping the spark plug off. Got two tides. Got a spark plug. Definitely gonna get two more tires. Fill that up while we're here. Cause there's tires in this motel. So heaps of tires actually. I did grab the fuel can, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Yes I did. <laughs> oh not again. Did I leave it back over there again? You're such a donkey. Right, what's in there? Nothing, nothing. Boot real good. Can find food and stuff in those, so it's definitely worth checking. Huh? Berries. Um, because we don't have a hammer, this how's it not a hammer in this thing? There's like no point killing a bear either, because we need we need to cook it and stuff, so. How did you not have a hammer in here? I had an axe. Okay, didn't. Did not have a hammer. Right up. That's a bit rude. I thought that wound was going to take four hours to heal. It's been more than four hours, mate. No. No. Can't look the white ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't get anything in these ones. These are just for fixing up. Can't even jump on it. Rude. Oh, this dude's got an engine too. All right, take it. The first time I found an engine in a car. Awesome. Is that where we were? Uh, I think so. I don't actually know what that building is. That's where we were last night, right? In game last night. I'm pretty sure that's where we were. Okay, that's cool. Right, let's check out this one. Oh, six litres and. Oh my god! <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. I think it's in our actual car. Serious sly. You're so bad. You're so bad. Right. Um, so that really means that all these cars that I was going to get fuel and stuff out of, I can't. Because I don't have the fuel can. Oh, water. Hello. Two water bottles. We're on fire. Should have just gone here first. Uh, there's tires here too, usually. This one. Ah, no, I want to open that. Oh, and there's a battery, man. I really just want loots, if I could. I don't think these buildings have anything in them. Remember rightly from last time I was here. Nope, not that one anyway. Those ones up the top there with the doors closed, they have zombies in them, but they also have loot. Ah, uh, we're looking for a hammer, really. Find one, that would be awesome. So I think... We're quietly going. Listening to the zombies. Can't hear any. Yeah, there they go. Hear them now. They can hear me walking. Because apparently I'm like the heaviest walker ever. Ha! Zombie walker. Ha! Ha! Jokes, folks. Just chokes. Right, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to kill some zombies. 
Because they're going to have fat loots, right? Or what's that? Oh, a bottle. Cool. Um, you need to be able to make Molotovs out of those bottles. Right, so there's... Two zombies. There's three zombies in that one, actually. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Just opening the door. Let them know I'm here. Kind of. I'm going to die here. Turn around. Ah, that's not sneak. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, he's looking right at me. Stop it. Oh, God, glitchy. Turn. Turn, you bugger. Go, Slyco. Go, Slyco. Oh, crap, the other one's coming. Back, back, back. Oh, I'm going to have to just pop off, I think. There's no way I can get in there. They're all too close. Oh, go now, go now. Good, 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 good. Hide. Don't know where he is. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Ah, oh, crap. Crap's light. Crap's light. Ah. That's what happens when you die. Revive, you lose some of your items. Or you can just quit. Yet, quitter. We lost all that. Oh, I lost my gun. Rude. What do I have left? Oh, I've got my knife. <sighs> I'm bleeding from the arm. Man, I almost had that. I tried to change the gun and just shoot him. Uh, I might as well grab the fuel can when we're back over here, though. But yeah, either you quit the game or uh, you revive, right? I guess, it, you know, early stages, it's sometimes better to just quit and start again, I guess. I didn't leave it there. So where the donkey did I leave it then? To check all these cars. I'm going to go get their stuff back. Oh, there it is right there. Because some of these cars have got like six litres, eh? One of them did. Man, I thought I had that too. Three zombies was a bit much to take on with the knife, I guess. Ah, it's got nothing in it. Oh, I should have dropped that tire off while I was there. Drew. Hopefully my gun's still there. Usually, uh, well not usually, but sometimes um, the stuff just falls on the ground. Sometimes. I mean, there's only one zombie, so I can definitely kill it. Where's the one that had six litres? It's further up, was it? Bubble. Oi. Oi. There it is. Oh yeah, give me that. Oof. Nine litres. Oh yeah, that's good. Right, I'm going to have to be sneaky. Man, I thought I had that. I so thought I had that. Uh, I don't know what the listening radius thing is. Right, when he turns around to go back in that other room, like he is right now. Oh, no, no, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Right, when he turns around to go back in that other room, we'll go, stab him, get our stuff back. I think there's more zombies in the room next door as well, from memory. Yeah, they don't seem to be able to see you if you peek, or oh, I can't seem to peek there anymore. There we go. Right, I'll wait for him to turn. Go, 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 it's so slow. Oh, are you kidding? Stand up, stand up. Oh, I got him. No, no, I got him. Nice. Oh, there's my gun. Oh, and my crowbar. Oh, it's two guns. <laughs> and more ammo. Okay, sweet. Uh, two guns. Right. So I didn't actually have to run all the way over to that other place. Although this place would have been a bit hard to take with just... Can I not change it into there? No, okay. Fine. This place would have been hard to take with just a knife, I guess. Oh, I don't need an axe, I need a blimmin'. What's that? Oh, booze, nice, I can make bandages. So I've got, um, cloth, do we? No. Okay. I sugar there too. Uh, I'm kind of full. Right, is there zombies in here? Can't 
can't see. Doesn't seem to me. Oh, that's what I want. Rag. Close that door. Quit. Right, should be able to make a bandage. Yep, nice. Oh, I need two of them. Ugh, it sucks. Okay. It's the first time I found booze. So. Didn't know you were going to need two. Oh, there's coke. Do I need coke? Oh, and I need no food though. Oh, granola bar, that's a little bit of food. Uh, yeah, we'll throw out the potato, which is definitely not food. <laughs> you can't eat raw potatoes. Oh, good for you. Right. Oh, what's in there? Nothing. Uh, I do want that as well. Oh, and I've got water now, I guess. That's fine. Oh, eat these berries. Take it. Nice. Uh, can't pick up bleach. Oh, there's a bandage right there. Oh, I'm already bandaged, anyway. Uh, what can I drop? Drop a potato. Do I love a potato. I need that sewing kit too, really. Oh, man, I need so much stuff. Right. There's zombies in this one either. Bottles. Granola bar, I'm going to need that because I need food. Battery, I don't need. Oh, God, I do need to find... Ah, oh, I need to find a hammer. So I can make a fire. So I can eat me chicken. Right, that's all we need. Just a hammer, boys. Uh, there's got to be a hammer somewhere. Right, let's get out of here. What are we doing for time? Nine o'clock in the morning, right? I didn't get all the tires I wanted either. I only got one. Oh, man. Okay, I need to go find a hammer. It's got to be a hammer in one of these buildings, surely. Double check these cars while we're here. <gasps> there's a beer. God damn it, beer. Can I sneak? past them? I don't actually know if you can sneak past beers or not. Do they smell you or what? Oh, it's three liters of fuel there too. It's risky doing it with a beer over there. Man, 13 liters of gas. We're doing well. I don't know how much you need. I guess a uh, car... Oh, food. I guess a car is like 60 liters, like a real life car. I guess. Right, that beer just definitely went past. I'd love to kill him, but like I said, there's no point at the moment. I'm, I mean, two reasons is I'm full, obviously. Um, and I've got nothing to cook them on, but I'm hoping this building over here, uh, that one over there, which is one of the ones that I've usually started in, um, has a hammer. So let's go find out. Uh, there's heaps of stuff in that building there as well. So the, this is like the area that I've been in. This one here, this building that I'm running up to now, is the one that I've pretty much always had as like my home base thing. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's got to be a hammer in here. I've never had an issue finding a hammer before. Nice combat knife. Apparently this uh, playthrough, I'm not allowed to have hammers. There's the axe, which I don't need. There's the hammer. Hammer time. Uh, do I need, do I need two bottles? Do I need two engines? Well, if one breaks, uh, whatever I throw out, I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I had that. Oh, throw out the empty bottles. Is any water in this thing? Usually not, right? No, okay. Right, let's get back to our hideaway. Build that thing. Cook some bloody chicken. Can eat it. We'll be at full health. We'll be fine. Stay away from that beer. Now I need to come back and re-loot the motels and stuff. Eh? Eh? Yeah, boys. Nice. I'm gonna eat that chicken. Go, go, go. Go, go. go away, bear. Go away, bear. I'd love to shoot him. I need to make it like a drying rack and stuff as well because you need to... I just double check I didn't leave any tiles behind. Oh, these things have fuel too, don't they? Nope. They might do, but too late. <laughs> I need one more tire and I can actually drive the car. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. That one I can't loot. How's my stamina? Why is it... Oh, no. I was going to say, why isn't it running out? But yeah, it sure is. I don't know if that means there's like a power plant over that way or something. I'm not sure. Right, let's go. 
<gasps> I don't have matches. I don't have matches. I can't light the bloody fire. Ah. Suck. I can make the grill. Can't light the fire. I know where there's matches. <sighs> okay, we're going to have to go there next. It's another building with lots of zombies in it. Probably going to die again. <sighs> Man, it sucks. I totally didn't remember that until just now. I was like, oh, I need matches. There's no... Oh, put the tire on that. I like how, like, you can actually see that this is tires on the front now. It's <laughs> cool. Right, one more tire. Actually, we'll fill up... Um, fill that tank too. Nice. Could probably drive it. Oh, there's mist. Get in, 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 get in. Alright, so a couple of hours, right? Alright, we can build this now. Nice. Still no matches, though. Suck. Right, I don't need to carry two bottles. Do I? No, I don't need to carry. Ah, yes, I mean. I don't need to carry an engine, though. I don't carry that coke. That's like reserve. Thing. I need my hammer, need that, need a bandage, don't need to carry two guns. Be nice if we had some spear bullets, but we don't. So like I said, this isn't going to be our permanent home, this is just for the, in the meantime, right? Um, I don't need two axes. Check that one's broken. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of room, do I? Hmm. Right, guys, I think we may wrap this up because uh, we're 50 something minutes and I didn't kind of realize that we've been playing for that long. Uh, yeah, so we need to go and get some matches. I know where they are. Uh, there's another building. Well, we kind of ran past it. It was like that farmhouse building that's got like five zombies in it. <laughs> I've been there before. I've died many a times over there. So that's probably what's going to happen next episode, I think. Yeah. Right, well I hope you guys enjoyed your first look at Miss Survival. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching guys, and we will see you next time.